It's that time of year once again. Time to go over the Record Store Day list. So, Record Store Day, for those who are unaware, is a holiday that is celebrated by us record collectors, usually in the third weekend of April. It's to celebrate local independent record stores. However, there is also a flavor that comes out on American Black Friday. So there is a list of titles of albums that come out for Record Store Day. And it's categorized into three categories. Record Store Day exclusives, which are those releases that are available only on that day. Limited Run Regional Focus, which is self-explanatory. It's, it's regionally focused, very limited run. And then there's what's called Record Store Day First. Those are the albums that it'll come out on Record Store Day, and then later down the line, there'll be a new pressing of it or a new flavor of it, but it's exclusive for the day. So I've given myself a couple of days to really look at the list. And initially, my, my first initial thoughts were like, eh. But I've, I've looked through the list, and there are a couple that I do have at least a little bit of interest in. So I at least wanted to come on and kind of talk about it. I'm still debating whether or not I'll be going out. But um, I have listened to a couple of these already. And uh, I'm thinking I may go out, I may not. I haven't decided as of yet. But to sum up uh, what I thought of the original Record Store Day list in April, it was one of the best in years. I thought it was a really, really solid list. And... This one is usually the Black Friday list isn't as surprising or bombastic or huge as the other list. It's, it's mainly focused on like the holiday season sometimes and buying. But one thing um, I have noticed is uh, the past couple of years with Black Friday Record Store Day, there have been a lot of picture discs. And I'm glad to see that there's not that many this time. Not saying that picture discs are bad. It's just not my cup of tea. But when a lot of the list was dominated by that uh, picture discs, we almost want to call it picture disc day with a couple of my friends. So I have my list here and I'm also going to pull up the information on my iPad. But what I typically do is I take a look at the list and I take a look at the quantity. I take a look at the type and then I also take a look at the price. So, with Record Store Day, you're only able to get these titles at local independent record stores on the day. There are strict rules with this. There's pledges that have to, to be involved with this. I'm not a record store owner, so but I do know there are pledges and things that kind of go into the whole minutia of this. But um, there are a couple of online retailers that do list the prices, and we have seen price increases just overall in general but the couple of ones that i've looked at um are reasonably priced within like the 20 to 30 dollar range except for like two so i haven't put um haven't put any of my uh flair onto it what i normally do is after i go through and i take a look at oh these are the ones that i'm looking for i'll then put a priority on them so what that means is what is the highest thing that i'm looking for what's not so um Let's start by taking a look at my list here. I'm going to pull up everything on my iPad. So the first one I'm looking at is uh, the Ramones Greatest Hits. Um, it's uh, apparently the first time it's on a final, but that's that's flare words. I'd have to double check the facts on that. But it has a comp of uh, the Ramones uh, two-minute zingers for the most part collects highlights from the band's extensive career. Spanning from their first release in 76 through 94, includes uh, anything you'd want uh, to and expect from Blitzkrieg Bach, Chino's Punk Rocker, to Pinhead and Warthog. This is a Rhino Warner Records release. It's set to be a quantity of 5,000, and it is on a single disc. Now, whether or not a disc is colored or not, I don't really care. I just care about the sound quality and the packaging. Uh, this is looking to be about 25 bucks. The next one is Stone Temple Pilots Rarities. I I do like Stone Temple Pilots, but they're not like a huge, huge, huge band for me. From my understanding is there was the purple box set where this came along, but I did not get that box set. So let me take a look at the purple rarities and give you the information. Mm. 
So according to the, the, the site, this is from Rhino Atlantic, it's to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Stone Temple Pilots. Um, with the breakout of the album, Rarities originally featured, oh yeah, so it was the Super Deluxe box set. Um, it has basically acoustic and demo versions of uh, all the songs, just different versions of that same album. Not sure whether or not I'd want to pick this one up. It's uh, the, the previous one I showed, the Ramones, was a Record Store Day exclusive. This is also a Record Store Day exclusive for Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, it's out of 3000 and from my pricing that I looked up, it's about uh, 25 bucks. So not not too bad if it's... it's I, I need to know on the day if it's something that I really absolutely need. I do have purple already, so whether or not I want to have that as the rarities, it's kind of up in the air. <laughs> so we'll go from there. The next one is uh, Tegan and Sarah So Jealous. So in an upcoming pickups, I do have a Tegan and Sarah related to this album release that I believe was a Record Store Day release, um, if I remember correctly. And let me just go here. And pull up the information. Yep, yeah, so this is So Jealous uh, 20th Anniversary. So it's a double LP featuring the actual album. This version that I have was Tegan covering Sarah's songs and Sarah covering Tegan's songs. So that, I don't have like the actual album album. This is a two LP set from Warner Records. Um, it is, um, it has the, the album and a second LP of demos from that era. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it is two tracks and it's, uh, just some, some demos as well on there. This is the one of the more expensive ones on my list. Um, it's also out of 3000. So uh, these ones might be a little bit hard to find because if you really think about it, there's a lot of record stores that are participating and this has to be spread out through all the record stores. But this one is last I checked 3697. So that one is a little bit... I'm not sure on that one. Um, I could pick up probably So Jealous. I'm not too, too big into demos unless it's a band or an artist that I'm like super, super into. So that one might have to be a pass for me. The next one is probably my number one. Um, I, I'm torn between this one and another one I'm going to be talking about in just a moment. But... The next one I'm going to be talking about is uh, the Elephant Six Recording Company. So, it's a special soundtrack for uh, the documentary of the same name. I did not see the documentary, but I noticed the bands on this list and, and the names on this, and I'm like, I'm really intrigued. Um, so, it's a legacy of one of the most storied DIY scenes in all of indie rock birthing. Uh, such bands as Neutral Milk Hotel, the Olivia Travel Control and the Apples in Stereo. So it, it follows the 2023 wide release and contains music from the film. So it has a pair of unreleased tracks from the Olivia Tremor Control. They have a upcoming third and final record. So you may notice like in the background here, I have an album by the Olivia Trevor Control that was gifted to me. And I love pulling it out. The artwork is really awesome. Actually, let me do a cut here. I wanna, I wanna show this. It's uh, this one right here. This is uh, music from the uh, unreleased, uh, uh, this is, what is the name of this one? This is music from the unrealized film script, Dusk at Cubist Castle. So this was gifted to me. Um, and it is, it is an interesting soundtrack. It's a really cool art style. I really like the band and I, I decided this year I wanted to dig a little bit more into their work. And so seeing that there's going to be some unreleased music on this, I'm like, I'm really intrigued by that. Uh, so it's going to have them. It has Neutral Milk Hotel, Marbles, The Gerbils, W. Colin Hart, Elf Power, uh, Dixie Blood Mustache, The Always Red Society, The Wedding Band and Friends, and Apples in Stereo. So there are a couple of live tracks. There are a couple of... Uh, instrumentals i like live albums if it's done in the right context and usually record store day when it comes to live uh, releases has been really really good so i'm really excited for that this one is out of 2000 so it's probably one of the more harder to find ones if i'm being honest but 
I have an esoteric taste, as my, the local record shop owner has said to me. So maybe I might get lucky. It's a single disc for 27 bucks. It's not too, too bad. Uh, the next one is the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, music from the movie, and more. It's out of 6,000. It is a record store day exclusive. Every single one that I'm talking about is a record store day exclusive. So it's out of 6,000. And it is um, 25 bucks. So I've listened to this one before. I grew up with SpongeBob. That's probably one that's a little lower on my list, but I still. There's a couple of songs I love and I still listen to from Spongebob, if I'm being honest. So that's that's really interesting. The next one that is kind of on my radar, kind of not, is there is a Van Halen release. So it's a previously unreleased concert from uh, December 4th, 91, performed in Dallas. So this is for the Unlawful Cardinal Knowledge Tour. It's a Sammy Hagar era uh, live album. Uh, I unreleased live concerts can be kind of hit or miss but the Sammy Hagar era is one that's really special for me so I'm I'm actually excited to to maybe pick this one up and unlike the last one that came out for record store day this one is only 36 it's two albums set but the other one was a little more expensive I can understand based on the original what that price was and how everything kind of laid out with that but, you know, um, it's on my maybe list. I don't know. I'll have to pick on the day. But who knows? Maybe it might be a purchase at the time. I don't know. I have my budget. I always budget every time I do this. So, yeah. There's one more that I'd like to talk about. And this is probably going to be my number one. Let me pull it up. And this is going to be uh, Scarlett Johansson's Anywhere I Lay My Head. Now... If you've been following the channel for at least a little bit, um, I've talked about it a little bit, and I'll talk about it in future videos. This era of music is something that I'm starting to heavily collect in. And this was in 2008, and I had forgotten that this album existed until I saw the list. I listened to it on the drive home from work one day, and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember this. And it's not been on vinyl. So, and, you know, um, there's a tribute to... A tribute album to Tom Waits classics, including guest appearances from David Bowie and the Yeah, Yeah, the yeah, yeah, Yeahs. So um, it's it's great. It's awesome. And it's right up my alleyway. It's out of a quantity of twenty three fifty. So that was probably going to be the hardest to find. But here's the interesting thing. You, um, it's 37 bucks. So out of all these albums, this one's the most expensive. And I just find it interesting. I guess it, it depends on the label. It depends on a whole bunch of different factors. What what shows up, what you know, what information's there. So <clears throat> what I mean by that is we don't have any control over the prices. But it's just interesting to see prices that have been steadily going up and then um, seeing that some prices on different things are higher than others. It's been interesting to follow for as long as I have been um, collecting and going through with Record Store Day. So there's my, uh, there's my list. I still haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna be going out. If I do go out, you'll see an actual video on the day uh, documenting everything. If not, you know, it was just fun to kind of take a look at the list. Um, if you have looked at the list, let me know down in the comments below. If you're looking at anything, if you didn't like the list, if you like the list, let me know. I'd love to have a conversation. I have plenty more content coming out, so keep an eye out for that. And as I say at the end of everything I'm in, when the waters get rough, please keep on sailing. And I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Take care.